it was done with this LP, huh? No. This time we're gonna take a little bit different path. Friends, I am Dialogue the skip. We're gonna save your run at this time. I'm not gonna show off her dialogue. You've already seen this. The others. What? What? There you wish. Okay, so let's pick Irana this time. You have chosen to bring peace to the soul of Irana. I shall commend the soul of Katrina to oblivion. There is the price for every gift. Will, will you? Yes, we've seen that. There we go. These guys like a like, long way to kill me. Yay, revived! You have given your life to bring life to death. Her soul shall soon be free. The snow of winter is melting and life returns again. You have given me the gift to live again. I thank you deeply. If you wish to see me, seek me on the island of Limnos. I will look for you there. Yay! Okay. So, I'm gonna get the heck out of here and be right back. Okay, so now we're gonna head toward Irana's Island. Which thankfully does not have any time constraints like Katrina did, so. And the game is lagging for some reason. But hey, we're just traveling, so not that it really matters right now. Anyway, she's over here. Oh, that's two of them. Right here. For some reason I thought she was a little further south than that, but here we go. Is anyone else expecting, like, the Cheshire Cat to just, like, show up right there? Hey! She's even got a pretty fountain. Oops, and I accidentally skipped that dialogue. Oh, pretty mushrooms. Hey, baby. You're floating. You are as welcome here as the sunshine. It is so good to feel the plants grow in the sunlight, or smell the freshness of the morning breeze. The magic again fills my being, and I cannot remember being more joyful. Thank you so much for this gift. There is peace in Hades for most souls, but I could not rest. There was too much that I left undone, too much that I wished to do. Life is too short when weighed against eternity. You want to tell me something interesting? When I tried to drive the Dark One from this world so long ago, I was trapped by the Dark One. It destroyed me. But I sent my soul into my staff. When you freed my soul from the staff, I was drawn to Hades. Death was like a restless oblivion, with a few troubling dreams. However, I shall face it gladly again, if it means that others shall live. Okay, that's a little bit more interesting then, but half of that we already knew, but whatever. It is so good to know that Mordavia is safe from the Dark One. I love the lush beauty of that land, and the innocence of most of the people there, foolish though they were. Yeah, that about sums them up. <sighs> Would you like to learn some more magic, my young wizard? I know a spell you could use. I shall teach you a spell of healing. May your mind be filled with the knowledge of first aid. Yay! I still like Dragonfire better, though. There's no dialogue there! What the hell? And yay, we get the first aid spell. And of course, in this version, I'm gonna obviously, you know, get hitched to her since I 
treat her, so... One thing we can give her, which is the reason I got two of them, is we can give her the set of magic seeds. These seeds are magical. How wondrous. It is so sweet of you to give me such a fine gift. I thank you for your kindness. Oh. So I fixed it for now, and I'm gonna come back once I return um, the river sticks water, and we'll get our next set of conversations. Welcome to my new home. As you can see, I am starting to make this island into a place of peace and beauty. I thank you deeply for restoring me to life. It is an incredible joy to be alive after all those years trapped in darkness and then drifting in Hades. Okay, I'm um, sorry a little bit of that got cut off. Um, I didn't know she was going to talk to me the second I appeared on the screen, even though I've already had a conversation with her before. So, apologies for that. At least the text is on the screen. Uh, I've just been given the quest to make peace with Atlantis, so... I can tell by your seriousness that something is on your mind. What troubles you so, my friend? I have taken some time to learn more about this place of islands and sea. There is much unhappiness and danger here. It saddens me to know that the beauty of this area is so marred. Oh, we can tell her about the dream sex we had, huh? In my endless sleep, I too dreamed of you. It gave me great comfort to know that someone was there who cared about me. You know, a lot of people, you know, it, it's, it really is a shame that, you know, like, Rakesh and Shaka are kind of down for the count right now because I think they'd be thrilled to know that, you know, she's alive again. Atlantis was a land of wizards and users of magic. It sunk into the sea eons ago when by their magics, they released a dragon-like creature of fire and destruction. Some were able to survive by transforming themselves into sea creatures. I have heard that the city is protected by water and by land, though it lies in the depths. All that live there have magic still, and guard their city well. You will need to swim a long time if you are to go to Atlantis. I shall make you a gift. Take this, and you shall breathe the water as if it were air. Send the message of peace with Silmaria. And we get the water breathing amulet once again. And let's give her some chocolates. What is this? Ah, a gift of bonbons. I cannot remember when I last enjoyed such a pleasure. My thanks to you. You have been more than generous with all that you have given me. I thank you for my life, as well as these gifts. Oh, screw that. I'm giving you free flowers, too. Okay, apparently you don't have enough of them here. These are lovely. What a shame that they had to be killed for me to be able to appreciate their beauty. Still, their seeds will grace my garden. My thanks to you. Why do you have to, you know, find something so negative and pretty flowers? No. Nope. Yeah, exit. Glitchy game, whatever. <laughs> okay, so we just got in the peace statue. So let's see we can talk with her about. I feel very happy at the success of your peace mission. You have saved many, many lives. Congratulations. Now that I have my island home set up, I will be learning as much as I can about the problems you are facing here in Silmaria. I will try to help you as much as I can. That's why I'm still sitting here. I spoke with some tritons who swam near my island. They have been called back to Atlantis to strengthen the defense of the city. It seems you proved to them that they were vulnerable to a concerted attack. They spoke to me of the peace agreement. I let them know that their kind would always be welcome to my island. There will always be peace here. Oh. You wish to kiss me? No one has ever asked that of me before. I am not wholly human, you realize. We are friends. More than friends, but we are not lovers. I need to think this over. I never thought that there could be someone to be a part of my life. I have been a loner. Please have patience, and thank you for the offer. <laughs> I am honored. Well, what is with all these chicks who, you know... It's like, 
they're hot, powerful chicks, okay? You would think some guy would have come on to them before me by now, and apparently... No, what the hell is wrong with the men in this, in this universe? Jesus. I will do what I can to learn more about what you speak. It is sad to know that this beautiful land has so much danger and wickedness. May peace always fill your life, my friend. I'm gonna leave and come back because this is the last time I'm gonna come here, so I wanna see if there's any conversations I've missed. The peace agreement that you have made with the people of Atlantis is good for Silmaria and Atlantis. You have done wonders, my friend. Did you not, you know, tell me that five minutes ago when I last came here? Whatever. Oh well. Yep, see, we get a whole new set of dialogue here. I am so glad to see you, as always. Oh. I am deeply troubled by the omens of disaster that surround this land. It is almost as frightening as Mordavia was when the Dark One was first being summoned. I fear the death that could face us both. Almost as bad, huh? Okay. Justice is seldom merciful. Be aware that bloodshed often brings more bloodshed, and death opens doors as well as closes them. The prophecy of doom is a prophecy of death. And I fear that you will be an instrument of fate. Yeah, the Sybil kind of told us that, like, a long time ago, so nothing new there. The prophecy of doom spoke of a dragon bound by the dragon pillars beneath the island of Marit. It is not a true dragon. It is a collected force of elemental fire and destructive magic bound in the form of a dragon. Thus, it cannot be defeated by mere force of arms. If it is released... It will need the binding magic of a pillar to be restored, and a willing sacrifice out of love for others to defeat the power. You must find the prophecy stone, and prevent it from being broken in blood. Otherwise, the dragon of doom will destroy this kingdom. Uh, okay, you know, half of what she said was already mentioned by the Sybil, but... I do like to point out here that... She pretty much confirms my suspicion before that... The, the prophecy stone probably, you know, likely has to be broken in blood, but that still does not explain the crap with Minos. Now on to more happy tidings. It is so wonderful to hear you say those words. All the loneliness of my life melts away knowing how you feel. I love you dearly too. That's not what you said ten minutes ago when I tried to kiss you. Be careful. I have never cared as much for anyone. As I do for you. Oh, isn't that sweet? But anyway, we're gonna come back once we've returned the peace statue to Ferrari. I hoped you would come. That danger that the Sybil of Delos spoke of to you may soon come true. The power that destroyed Atlantis may soon be released to destroy Silmaria. Already been established. I don't think she has anything new to say. No, she does not. Now will you marry me, please? I never thought anyone could ever love me. I am too strange-looking, too different. You're I'm hot. someone who hides in the woods, casting simple spells of peace. Even in the Shadowland of Death, I dreamed of you. You were my hero. The only person I knew with whom I could share my hopes and fears. I thought I could trust you. I knew I could love you. I just didn't know you could love me. Yes. Gladly will I accept this ring. Joyfully will I marry you and share your life. However, there is no time for our love right now. The danger is too great that the dragon will rise soon. We need to do what we can to save Silmaria. When this danger is over, then we will be free to love. God, why is she so depressed? I don't get that. I mean, she's hot. She's extremely powerful. She's helped people wherever she goes. I mean, does she really think she can't be loved? I mean, I, th I think we need to bring, you know, Chakra and Rakesh back in here because they certainly appreciated her. Oh, well. Next, we'll see her at the fight of our lives.